to keep this video short and to get you the information you need to get your hi-hats lit. You see, I got a pattern already going right here. And as you can see right here, I got a hi-hat already going, but it's just one hi-hat going to the same pace. This is also a way to cut your time down by going to this hi-hat and I right click. I went down to where it says copy. It's going to be on the right hand side of the box. Now what that did was it copied that hi-hat. So now I got two hi-hats that sound the same. Here we go, let's do it again. Now, as you can see, I got a hi-hat going already. So this is a fast way to have two hi-hats that sound the same in your track. I right-click, and I go down to where it says clone. Bam, now I got two hi-hats. One is already going, now one ready to manipulate. See that? Now I'm gonna stop the track so you hear and see exactly what I'm doing. I clicked in my hi-hat box, and you see I got all these different options for my hi-hat. From resampling to using loop points, time stretching, and pre-comp effects. Now the pre-comp effects, this is good because you can reverse the polarity of your hi-hat. And reversing the polarity means you changing the way that the actual instrument is responding in your track. For example, if you got two different hi-hats, if those two hi-hats hit at the same time in your track, they gonna somewhat cancel each other out. That's where you use the reverse polarity and it will give you a chance to hear both hi-hats simultaneously. You also got phase, stereo, normalize, reverse, and remove DC offset. But we ain't focused on that right now. We trying to make these hi-hats roll. So there's more options when you click on these boxes. Where I want you to focus on is right here where it says the wrench. It's going to be a little tool. You click inside here because this is where your arpeggiator is going to be found. That's the secret sauce to making your hi-hats roll. Trap style. You know what I mean? Is you arpeggiate your hi-hats just like you would a piano or an instrument that you might arpeggiate. And I'm going to show you how you do it. See, right now, my hi-hat is just hitting one time. But I want this bitch to roll, so I come down here to my arpeggiator. And the first thing you're going to do is turn it on. These different sections all got different effects on your arpeggiator. This is the one you would normally use. It's the last choice. Right before the question mark. And this is important right here. Because now, hey, now you see, my, I got the arpeggiator on my hi-hat. It's doing something. It's going pretty fast. Okay, but I want this bitch to roll trap style. So this is what y'all want y'all to do. You go to repeat. You put it on repeat two times. And then you come right here where it says range. And you want to make sure your range is down to zero. You don't want no range. You just want it to repeat. Then you come right here to where it says time. 
It's going to be your first selection to the left side of your box. Time is really important because, bam, now you see, by manipulating the time, I'm manipulating the timing of the hi-hats. And if I want to make sure this was quantized right to my track, I right click and you come down to where it says set. And there's these different options for the quantized set of your hi-hats. For my style, I use one fourth step. You see how fast that's going now? You see how it's rolling? So if I was using that, With this track. You hear the other hi hat going. Now here go my road. Now there you have it, you know what I mean? That's how you make your hi-hats roll trap style, baby. If I want to add this to the track, I can just hit record. There you have it, my baby. So get to it, you know what I mean? Don't forget to like and subscribe because there's going to be some more sauce coming your way. Rock with your boy, you know what I mean? Merch Sound TV, Sky High 29, City Slipping Records. Get lit.